Dear students, welcome to our online class. Uh, first, I would like to thank our authority to arrange this online classes for you. And we also want to remember uh, the departed soul of our uh, dearest teacher, Dr. A.P. Madhavan Chundu Sir, the ex head of the Department of Department of English through the Government College. Today we are going to discuss uh, the basic rules of transformation sentence and especially the transformation of, of simple, complex and compound sentences. Uh, this is the topic of English second paper. And at first we want to discuss the features of simple, complex and compound uh, sentences. Then we will discuss the rules to transform them. Okay? So, uh, in terms of simple sentence, look at this example. They love birds. Here we have we have been, we have got one subject and one final verb. And obviously, simple sentence should be simple. Uh, there should be no sign of complex sentence and compound sentences. And there should be one subject and one final verb. Sometimes there can be non-final verbs. Uh, sometimes there can be no non-final verbs. And if you if we uh, look at the next uh, second example, selling her hair. She bought a chain. Here, this is a long sentence, but this is actually a simple sentence because here the main subject is she and the final verb is bought. Here, selling is not the final verb, so it maintains the conditions of simple sentence one subject, one final verb. Got it? Sometimes the same sentences can be uh, big in size or large in size, but they can be simple, uh, simple sentence. For example, uh, if, we, if you see uh, in spite of verb plus ing in the starting of a sentence, it can be also simple sentence, but it looks like complex sentence, but it is actually there simple sentences. Okay. Uh, next we are going to uh, the feature of compound sentences. Uh, there should be two clauses. In, compound sentence, in a compound sentence and they should be added with uh, some conjunction for example and, but or no. For example, he came here and met everyone. Here we have got two clauses and there should be a conjunction here we have got and. This is why it is called a compound sentence. And uh, at last we want to discuss the features of complex sentence. In complex sentence, there should be two clauses. One should be independent clause and one should be subordinate clause. And there should be, we should use uh, some subordinate connectors to use to make a complex sentence. For example, we can use uh, the connector if, who, which, that. That means all types of related pronoun: how, when, as, since, although, though, until, because. These are the all indication of complex sentence. For example. If I were a superman, I would fly to the USA. So if I were a superman, this is a clause, and I would fly to the USA. That is another clause, but here we have got the sign or and sign or character of complex sentence. That is if. Here if, here and, and here there is no if, there is no and. That means there is no sign of complex sentence and compound sentence. That's why they are simple sentence. Clear? Okay, now we are going to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, discuss some examples of translation of sentences between complex compound and uh, simple sentences. So the first one, uh, this is uh, The complex sentence, the girl is so innocent that she believes everyone. This is an example of complex sentence because uh, we have got two clauses here and there is a sign of, there is a sign that and it indicates uh, this is a complex sentence. So when we will make it compound or when we, we will transform it to compound, we have to remove this sign. Okay. So we know, uh, as we know the feature of uh, the the feature of compound sentence is the use of and, but, or. That's why we have to use one of them. Here we have to use and. 
The curl is very innocent here, so is replaced by value. And then adjective innocent and believes everyone. And and is the indication of compound sentence here. So we have transformed this sentence from complex to compound. If the question demands that we have to make this sentence simple, then we have to make it simple. The girl is, in, is innocent enough to believe everyone. The girl is innocent enough to believe everyone. There is no sign of complex and compound sentence and this is why this is a simple sentence. Here we have to use a word enough instead of very or so and to believe. This is a simple sentence. Okay. If we look at this example, our first one is complex sentence. Although his father was a king, Cyrus was brought up like a son of a common man. So this is a complex sentence. There is indication of although. And if, if you find uh, although in a complex sentence, you have to use but in a compound sentence. Don't forget it. So there is a condition. Cyrus' father was a king, but he was brought up like a son of a common man. That is, although if you if you find although in a complex sentence, you have to use but in a compound sentence, and sim in simple sentence, you have to use in spite of. This is the condition. In spite of being the son of a king, he was brought up like a son of a common man. So this is another rule. Ne now we are going to the next one. So the next uh, example is, <coughs> the first one is a uh, uh, complex sentence by using if. If you don't come here, you will miss it. So here, the if clause is negative. As we find, don't here, it's a negative clause. And that's why we have to make a uh, simple sentence by using without plus by plus and in here. If you, if you don't come here, you will miss it. Uh, to make it simple, we have to use, we have to uh, vanish if and subject, then we have to use without, then main verb plus ing. Without coming here, you will miss it. It's the simple sentence. And in terms of compound sentence, you have to use not and, not verb, but you have to use or here. So don't forget this condition. So in, in terms of if, there should be without in terms of simple and or in terms of compound. If, if the if the clause is negative, but if, if the clause is positive, for example, if you come here, you will get it. For example, if you come here, you will get it. Uh, here there is no doubt, just think it. Then you have to use not without, you have to use by here. Because this is the positive uh, positive clause. If you come here, you will Get it. Then you have to use by coming here, you will get it. And in, in, in case of compound sentence, you have to use and here. Come here and get it. So don't use or here. If the if clause is positive, try to use and. And in, in terms of symbol, try to use by plus by plus and. Okay, we are going to the next two. Now we are going to discuss uh, some more examples of translation of sentences of simple and complex. Uh, the first sentence, simple sentence, I saw a boy running towards me. This is a simple sentence because there is no sign of complex and compound sentence. And here we get a participle that is running. And we have to make this sentence complex uh, by using this participle. I saw a boy, I saw a boy who was running towards me. Here we have to use a related pronoun that is who and we have used who here because this is a, the boy is a person if it is an object or animal we can use which of that if it is a place we can use where if it is a time we can use when so don't forget this uh, condition if there is any present participle condition then we have to use related pronoun to make it <coughs> complex I saw a boy who was running towards me another example uh, the complex is as soon as he heard the news, he rushed to the spot. 
So this is a complex sentence. As soon as. And if you find as soon as in a, in a complex sentence, and if you want to make it simple, just remove as soon as, remove the subject, and try to add ing with the verb. Then make it simple. In the uh, verb plus ing in the beginning of a sentence is a condition of simple sentence. Here in the news, he runs to the spot. Clear? We can go to the next one. Okay, now uh, look at these examples. First one is simple. Unfortunately, he lost the game. So unfortunately, if you find this type of adverb in a sentence, in a simple sentence, and you, you, if you are asked to make it complex, you have to use that clause. That is, it is unfortunate that uh, he lost the game. So you have to use that clause here. For example, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, usually when you have to, you have to use it is usual that here we have got unfortunately that so you have to use it is unfortunate that you lost the game. Um, for another example, if there is a simple sentence by using besides, then how can we convert it to compound sentence? Besides giving me advice, he helped me with money. Besides giving me advice, he helped me with money. <coughs> In compound sentence, we have to use not only and but also to make it compound. He not only gave me advice, but also helped me with money. So, if there is any besides in simple sentence, make it compound with not only and but also. So, for this example, we can see that uh, the first one is simple, a complex sentence. She speaks as if she were a queen. Uh, there is an indication of complex sentence that is as if. And if, if we find as if in a complex sentence, we have to use like a simple sentence to convert it into simple sentence. She speaks like a queen. So, uh, we have discussed the basic rules of uh, trans transforming of simple, complex and compound sentences. In another class, we will discuss other uh, criteria, other, other uh, rules of uh, transformation of sentences. That's all for today. Thank you.